So there's a bit of science and it's best thought of in terms that we can understand. So if you imagined for me a necklace, a silver necklace that's been in the bottom of the jewellery box for a while and you take it out and it's kind of knotted and maybe there's a hair caught in it and a bit of fluff and it's tangled and knotted and it's not able to be free to put around your neck. This is the connective tissue in our body, the fascia in our body, that if over time or from an episiotomy, it's got knotted and tense. If we then pull, if you imagine pulling on that necklace or tying more knots in it, so strengthening the inability for it to be free and loose and move and tie around your neck. If you stretch and if you do exercises that are just pulling up and strengthening and pulling on the pelvic floor up, 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 then you're just adding to what's already there. It would be like building a house on a foundation that is a different shape to the house that you want to build. What we ideally want is to loosen. So if you had that necklace, you would sort of tug and pull on the ends to loosen it, to free up and untangle and unwind it. It's the same principle that we apply with this whole body, healthy pelvis, uh, pre-Pilates approach. We're going to release and unknot your system before we then build appropriate mobility and strength on top of that. So thinking about it in that way where we can relate it to something, I think can really help you sort of get past the, the science and make it relatable to you and your body. If you also think about where your pelvis is in your whole body, it's the center. It houses your center of gravity. So everything else is stemming out from that point. If that point is imbalanced, how does that then ricochet through the rest of your body and vice versa? If your head is very forward and it's on the top of your spine and the bottom of your spine is your pelvis, then how's your head position and alignment and posture affecting your pelvis? So when you start to consider it all in this way, like to me, it's impossible to think about it in isolation and in any other way than a whole body way. So I hope that you have a better idea of the concepts behind this. It's a beautiful and incredible way of viewing the body when you start to, to unravel it and look at it this way. And I look forward to sharing much, much more about this with you when you join me on your own healthy pelvis body journey using this pre-Pilates method leading you all the way into the beautiful big joyous movements that Pilates has to offer too and anything else you want to do in life.